I recently installed some DIY blinds in my home and I saved a ton of money. They're great, but they look unfinished on top. The plastic valences they came with look like garbage, so I decided to make some custom valences out of wood. I started off by using my table saw to rip some 3 quarter inch pine down to 4.5 inches for the main part, and then some more pieces to 1.5 inches for the tops. Then after measuring the window opening, I added 1 and 1 half inches to the overall length and cut the main piece to length on my miter saw. To determine the length of the top piece, I use a piece of scrap cove trim and adjust until I like the way it looks. I ended up with a 3 quarter inch overhang, so I cut the top piece 1 and 1 half inches longer than the main piece. To assemble the top piece to the main piece, I used some wood glue and then I clamped it in place to make sure it didn't move. Then I used some headless pin nails to secure the top to the main piece. I used the glue because the pin nails don't have a ton of holding strength. For the cove trim, I start off by cutting a 45 degree angle. Then I lay the cove trim in place and mark the location of the other 45 degree cut. I do the same with the small side pieces, except this will just be straight cuts on the ends. Once I've confirmed they fit the way I want them to, I can temporarily glue them in place with some medium CA glue. This just helps with the holding strength and also holds things in place until I can pin nail the coke trim. I'll also use some CA glue on the rest of the cove trim. Pin nails are so small, they can just be sanded and painted over. No need for filler. They're pretty awesome. Then it's time for everybody's favorite part, sanding. I use 220 grit sandpaper with a combination of a sanding block and a piece of sandpaper to get everything smooth. Be sure to sand the ends to minimize end grain. Then I use white caulking that is designed to have a lot of flex for trim work to make it all pretty. Nice caulking applicator tool. What a mess I made. Anyway. Now I can prime the entire piece. Once the primer is dry, I sanded it down and then painted with two coats of paint. Finally, I installed the valences over the blind mechanism with brad nails. Just make sure you mount it in a position where it covers the mechanism, but you can still work the wand to open the blinds. I like to use white window glazing to fill the holes. Then I go over the holes with touch-up paint. Well that turned out great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and also check out one of these other awesome videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.